So the third point we wanted to talk to was adding characters through typography. And I'm going to throw it back to Aisha to talk a little bit about the importance of typography as it relates to character. Exactly. Um, this is one of the smaller changes that you can do to add a little bit more of character to your career's website. Lots of times people think of fonts as an afterthought, but fonts are how we use and how we use them. The typography is a very powerful piece. In order to achieve like really good typography, we have to remember a couple of things. Like we have to make sure that it's functional. We're an information hungry generation and we have to make sure that the information that we give is easily digestible and people can easily understand it. One of the examples that we're showing right here is the New York Presbyterian website. Although they use um, some very um, easily known fonts like Times and Arial, they're very clean and they're very representative of the brand. It's, um, when you use a serif font like this, it, it conveys stability and trust. And when you use um, the lighter font like Arial, it, it gives a little bit more um, credibility to the brand. And one of the other things that I wanted to mention is the repetition of the font. We want to make sure that we are consistent with what we do because when we're consistent, we're creating trust with our users across the, all, all mediums, all, all platforms. The next example I'd like to show is the next example. would be from Uber. And one of the things with Uber, you say that it's very indicative of their consumer side brand. They're known as a concierge type of taxi service. It's very clean, it's very upscale, and it, it's very indicative of the brand itself. They are bringing forward, the, they're bringing the consumer side look and feel to their career side, so it ties the two together. There is no deviation from one to the other. Um, they have a very strong sense of hierarchy, so it gives people the understanding of the right flow, what they're supposed to read first and what they're supposed to read second, and so forth, so on. Um, and, what, what, go ahead, and, uh, and one thing I want to also mention here is that um, looking at so many career sites, I think we all we all notice that there's a, uh, a lot of the career sites use fonts that are way, 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 way too small. Um, if right. you're using... <laughs> If you're using the same <laughs> using on uh, print out, you're doing it wrong. Um, in general, um, uh, more in terms of guys, you should really say that it should be point font, um, and you should really make sure that you've got a really large font headline. Um, the other thing that we want to say is that from a coding perspective, um, it's really important to kind of uh, think about how you could begin to use different types of typography now. It used to be that, um, and this is a pretty technical detail, but it used to be that the reason we only used a couple fonts was because we didn't have any other way to do it. Um, so you had to use whatever fonts were on the system, which meant that you didn't know what, what the user would be on, so um, those fonts kind of had to be limited to usually Times New Roman, Georgia, Arial, Verdana, or Tahoma. Um, which are the sites, which are the fonts that you'll probably see on most sites. Um, but now there are uh, technologies like Typekit, there are technologies like web fonts, um, and even free technologies from Google, which will allow you to really update the fonts and, and choose fonts that are going to be really native to your brand, um, not only freely, but also extremely cheaply to implement. 